Hi, welcome to Harley Classics, and for once, it's not raining. Well, it's spitting on a bit. The sun's come out, and we're going to start and make our videos again. We more or less stopped over the winter because of the the conditions. It was raining every day. It's still raining now, like, but it's better than it was. Um, just a quick update on the Swift. I uh, brought it back the other day on a video. You might have saw it. Um, it's back here now. It's been through the workshops. We've had a quick look at it. I wanted a little bit of fettling with the brakes. Brakes are okay now. We've had it on a test drive. Drives lovely, absolutely lovely. Uh, and it's up here ready for sale. So it's a 1926 this car, 1440 Swift, which is a, a very old and unusual British car make. Um, I did see a veteran Swift for sale not so long back in 1903, I think it was. So they've obviously been around a long time. This car is a four-seater or five-seater, if you can squeeze somebody in the middle, uh, Tourer. Uh, it's got all its wet gear and side screens with it. Uh, the hood's in pretty good condition underneath the, the cover here, uh, and it's really quick to set up. I've got pictures on the website of it set up. Um, what makes this car unusual from a lot of cars of the year is it's got two doors in the front. Most of these big old tourers only had the one door, the passenger door to slide across because down here you've got your your, your brake and your gears, like the old Rolls Royces and, and Daimlers of the time. Um, it's lovely inside here. All the instruments are nice on the dash there and they all seem to work. The car's got good oil pressure. Um, just a nice car. Apparently the last owner rebuilt the engine when he had it in his ownership and the car's been all over Europe. Um, there's a nice history file with the car, so it's it's well documented. I'm not sure about the interior. I think the car probably could do with a another interior if you want to go that far. There's nothing a matter with it. It's just people call it patination. I call it wear. In the back here, you've got the the little screen for your passengers, so you've got the top down. They don't get the wind and the the elements in them. We'll have a quick walk around the car anyway. So we'll start at the front. As you can see, the radiator there with the nickel around the, the headlights, nice and bright. Paint work, black over maroon. It has been painted. I think it was probably originally blue at some time with a blue interior. Um, the paint work's presentable. It's got a few imperfections, little bits and bobs here and there. But you've got to remember, it's a 120-year-old car, a 100-year-old car, sorry. So it's bound to have imperfections. You will when you get to 100. Wheels and tyres are all good. Plenty of tread on them. Even the spares in nice condition. Rack on the back there for your basket. In the back here, don't open that back door. There's a little tear there on the interior. Like I say. Make his mark on there. And embossed in there is the Swift emblem. Driver's side again, there you go. Nothing much to see in there. That's just a bit of polish, a bit of splatter on there. Again, nothing much to see in there. We'll have a look at the engine. At first, I thought the engine was running on a, a magneto. But it's got a coil, and the marks informed us it has a coil underneath here, so it must be running off a, a coil and using the, the points in the mag. But again, nice engines, not dripping oil all over. Starts okay, pulls plenty of power. Someone's fitted an aftermarket fan on the front there, which works again. Uh, nice thing. Nice thing. So, put that down. Temperature gauge on the front works as well. So there you have it really, the 1926 car. Good value for money. You'll probably pay the same for this car as you would for a decent, I don't know, Morris Minor convertible, something like that. I don't think these cars have ever, ever been as good a value. And I really think people are missing a trick. 
So if you need any more information on the car, give us a shout. The Harley Classics. Follow us on YouTube, uh, on my Instagram, or just send us a message or a phone call. Bye-bye now.